And we talking championship mindset today, baby. It don't matter if you're a kid, you're in college, you're in the pros, whatever it is. Man, you gotta have your mind right. That's what Mind Right Man is all about. Get it right, get it tight, and get your mind right. See that champion's mindset? You can't get outworked. Don't let these young cats outwork you, baby. That's mindset. Yeah, boy! <laughs> That's the way you start, baby. Hey, what a session. Those NFL guys were rocking it today. Always great to see the vets working. Uh, Darren Sproles, you know, 15 plus years in the NFL and still going hard. Uh, Gerald McCoy, man. Beast, 10 plus years as a D lineman, Golden Tate, and uh, of course Chase Daniel, 10 plus years as a uh, primarily as a backup. But hey, now it's time to go create some magic down at Christian High School. Uh, we got 500 plus kids, and we talk about champions mindset. So I'm going from here all the way to there, and I, I got to get a little breakfast in first. You know, you got to get that breakfast in. I got to I got to get that that little uh, little going. So it's time to rock and roll, baby. Super pumped to be down here at Christian High School once again. I was here earlier in 2018. It's great to be back with these kids. We got 500 kids today, and we talk about the champions mindset. And I love working with these kids. You see the the, the leaders of tomorrow today, uh, and these young kids, man. We're talking about everything today about champions mindset. So uh, I'm gonna get in there. We're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna fire up the crowd, and it's gonna be a blast. See you in there. Welcome, Todd Durkin. Let's go! Let's go! Thanks, Doc. Get up! The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a mean and nasty place, and it will knock you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. No one's going to hit as hard as life, but it ain't how hard you get hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning's done. I don't want to go through pain. You don't want to go through pain. Some of you today are facing tough times. Some of you are facing trials and tribulations. You're making decisions. Hey, do me a favor. Tap that kid. I need him up. Wake him up. You. I need you up because you need to hear this. Listen up. Eyes. Give me your eyes. Give me your eyes. That's, hey, by the way, that's called iron sharpens iron. I'm sharpening him up. Don't let a brother down. Listen up. If you today... If you today need strength, you need to be lifted up, you need to be encouraged. Know this, go deep on your faith. You pray to God and you say, dear God, please help me. I want to be a vehicle for you. Please work through me. But one thing I've learned is just be you. Be the best version of you and never be afraid to show who you truly are. When you hide behind a facade, because what are they going to think if I'm a Christian? What are they going to think if I'm a man or a woman of faith? How are they going to judge me? You get to a point in your life where you stop w worrying all the time about what other people think of you. You just be who you are. You better believe it, it's going to be scary. Because listen, if you're going to be different and you're going for greatness, not goodness, you're going for greatness, it's going to be scary. You're putting your life on the line. But you're saying, dear God, I know I have some gifts. Can you allow me to optimize and maximize those gifts? One of the things I've learned about success is this. You have to live your life in reverse. You have to reverse engineer your success. Thinking if you dream big and this is where you want to go, what's it going to take for you to get to where you want to go? Based on your divine purpose, all the way down into your daily practices and habits, every single thing you do counts. Just a few hours ago, I'm up in the trenches with my athletes saying, every rep counts, every set counts. Don't take a rep off. Don't take a sprint off. When you're in the weight room, don't be like, you know what, I'm not good at cleans. I'm not good at bench. I'm not good at squats. I'm not good at that. 
No, it's, I've got to work at that. I got to get 1% better today. So when you dream big, it's the little things that add up. Small victories over time allow you then to get the victory that you want to dream big. See, all of us have gifts. Tap into them. You've been given much. Much is required. Step up. I tell my kids, they're 16, 13, and 10. Even when you're beaten, keep your chest up. Walk tall like a peacock. Don't droop your head. Don't round your shoulders. Stand up. Body language, 80% of communication. Walk tall. Walk tall. Great things will happen. I believe, I believe that when you dream big, I believe that when you work your tail off and you're the hardest worker in the room, I believe that when you can overcome adversity and be tough physically, mentally, and spiritually, I believe that when you get your mind right, and your soul right, that you truly will live a life worth telling a story about. And to me, that is a champion's mindset. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, girls, clap it up. Clap it on up, clap it on up, yeah, clap it on up. Probably inspiration, I know. You've been, uh, you've been like a hero of mine, to be quite honest. Like, hmm. When you first came here, I was like, this guy's awesome. <laughs> I want to be like this. You're so, you know, you're, I can just see the joy that you have. Hmm. You, know, you, just, you put that in everybody's hearts, you know. Everybody that I talk to after you came here, they're like, man, I want to, you know, they all just wanted to go out and they wanted to do something, you know. Man, that's music to my ears. <laughs> well, that's you. You're a leader. Remember that. You're a leader. Everywhere you go around here, you're a leader. So keep it up. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Well, it's a shame I couldn't wear my uh, Durkin hoodie. Before. <laughs> hey, you got the hoodie on? I know. Well, then you need, let me know, okay? Man, what a great time down here at Shadow Mountain Church and Christian High School. Uh, having those 500 kids fired up, standing up, hooting, hollering, clapping. Man, you talk about a champion's mindset, that's what it's all about. But the bottom line is this, those five points I want to make today, we're about dreaming bigger. What's it going to take to reverse engineer the success and the significance that you want? And then the second thing about uh, you know, what it's going to take to be the hardest worker in the room, all the things to ramp up to be that hardest worker in the room. That was point number two. Uh, number three was, hey, you have to overcome adversity. It's going to take toughness, overcoming adversity on that stuff. Life's going to throw you a curveball sometimes. And that's, that, that's a fact. A champion's mindset allows you to dig deep. When your best is needed, you dig deep and you, you get it there. We always talk about you, know, you don't know how strong you are until strong is all you have left. Overcoming adversity is part of the repertoire of being a champion. Point number four is all about you know, getting more muscle. Mindset muscle, body muscle, and of course, spiritual muscle as well. So it's get your mind right, get your soul right, and get your body right. So get more muscle in your life. And then number five, I love number five, is live a life worth telling a story about what's your story. When you tap into your deepest divine purpose, whatever that is, you tap in and you pray to God. You say, hey, how do you want to use me so that I can use the gifts that I have to make the world a better place? Uh, that's what the whole gist of today's message was about. You saw the athletes training hard, and now you talk about a champion. That's all the, the intangible things, the focus is determination, the sacrifice, the discipline to, to do what you need to do to get you to where you want to go. And then from the, from the uh, presentation today to these kids who are yearning to be the best in their life, to me the champion's mindset, it's an attitude and that's what it takes to be a mind right maniac.